likes that elbow there. Perfect. Personally, I would imagine it's in the thousands. We've been administering vaccinations since the original H1N1 epidemic back in 2009. London Drugs Pharmacy Manager Zach Stevens says if you want a booster or new COVID-19 vaccine, you should probably wait for the latest. Most people thinking about getting vaccinated should be waiting for the updated vaccines that will be arriving shortly. Health Canada just approved Moderna's new spike vax, which is targeting the new FLIRT subvariant of the Omicron strain. Right now, FLIRT COVID-19 variants are driving new cases. These variants are the descendants of the now dominant JN1 variant, which itself is a descendant of the Omicron, which remains dominant across the world. Most viruses do mutate and change over time. I think most people are familiar with getting an updated flu vaccine every year because there are changes in the circulating strains. And as with COVID as well, we're seeing that, you know, year over year, we, we keep seeing, you know, new strains becoming the permanent strain out there. Not everyone will feel the need to get the latest vaccine, but Stevens thinks it's important for some. We try to drive home that certainly those people elderly, immunosuppressed, other chronic health care, you know, chronic health conditions, we emphasize that their best way of staying protected is getting updated with the latest version of the vaccines. With kids now back in school and the flu season right around the corner, Stephen says it's important to remember the basics of healthy hygiene. Yeah, getting back to basics, it's always good to have those reminders of the hand washing and keeping yourself and or your kids home when they're not feeling well, not going to work when you're when you're feeling sick, keeping your distance from others who may not be feeling well. It's those common sense measures that are always good to, to keep reminding people of. Current vaccines are still available for people like snowbirds who may be heading south early for the winter, but the new vaccines are expected to be available here in Kelowna sometime before the end of October. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.